Great. So you want to use Google Classroom to mark your students' work that they've retained using your stylus. So what you do is you first got to set up the assignment correctly first. So I've opened Chrome browser to go to my classwork section, and we're going to create a simple assignment, okay, as we normally do. Um, so we're going to title this one English essay. Okay, we want to add work. I always add student work for the students, a, a document for the students for each of them. Um, I give them a bit of formatting structure there just so that I make sure that they do the work, do the work that they need to do it. And also it helps to organize them a little bit um, because uh, we know that some of them really struggle to get all of their bits and bobs together. So they have selected over here a Google document and I'm just putting that in and I'm going to make sure that they can't just view it. They can't all edit the one file, but I'm going to make a copy for each of them over there. All right. Now, just for one to, to, to show you that there are a lot more options here, you can at, attach a Word document as well. So I'm going to attach this one. Um, that one called foreign words document and that's a microsoft word file it's in my google drive and i'm going to make a copy for each student over there i can add a powerpoint and can add google slides i can add a pdf any kind of file um, that you want the children to work in then you'll be able to mark it afterwards great so i'm just going to sign this for one student quickly and that's this test user account here exam unknown and i scroll back to the top and click away somewhere and now I can assign it for him. Make a copy for each, make a copy for each two documents. I'll put in some nice instructions. Okay, so signing there. And are we happy that it's going to be assigned? I'm gonna wait for it to be saved and then wait for him to work on his essay. Great, that assignment's been created. So now I can close Chrome and go on with teaching some other lessons, trusting that those students are gonna get that work completed. Now, when I wanna mark the work, I cannot go through the Google Chrome browser and open the Chrome version of Google Classroom. I force installed Google Classroom here yeah, in the Play Store for us. So you need to find that Play Store icon. If it's not on your shelf, it's going to be over here in the launcher, explore there. If you can't find it, then you ask me for help. So yes, it's our Google Classroom Android app. I open that one and let's just close this quickly. I need to go back, back to where all the classes sit. Okay, so we've got Oakill Online. Where are you? I probably went past it already. There it is. Okay, Oakill Online. And we're going to find that one new assignment English essay. Okay, I'm not going to go through the stream. I'm going to go through classwork as I would normally. Yes, the second one I just posted today. All right, all your students will be down the left over here. And what I failed to mention is that the Android app does look a little different to the, the regular app. So all of your tabs are at the bottom instead of the top, but they're there, stream, classwork, and people. So in classwork, English essay, we've got our users down the side. Now this user, there he is, this, this student, his name is exam unknown. He's got two documents attached for him to work on. He's done the work in there. I'm gonna start with opening the Word, the Microsoft Word document. So you simply open that. All right, and now you can go to the top right of your screen. There's the pen tool, okay, to activate your stylus. Okay, and now that's extremely small to write. So what I need to do is I need to pinch and open my fingers on the screen, which zooms in, okay? All right, and now I've selected my red pen, and now I can go ahead, but that's really big, all right, in that space. So I can even zoom in a little bit more, and then still write large. Still write nice and easily, easy to write, and, um, and then when I zoom out again, it ends up nice and small. If I try to scroll up with one finger, it's going to draw these lines. What you need to do is take two fingers on the screen, and that helps you to move um, up and down. All right, you can zoom in and out. So really easy to manage. Once you're done, you hit save in the top right corner over here. You're going to save that um, document. So what it's done now is it's made a copy of his Microsoft Word document. It's creating a PDF and it's attaching it to his name. So now when I return, he's going to get his original two pieces of work, but also the PDF version of the work that I've marked. I can do exactly the same with that Google Doc with a PowerPoint slide deck. I think even an image, okay, if they submit an image where we can test that one, you can mark up all over it. Um, but rather allow them to put the image inside a Google Doc and then you know you'll be able to mark it always. Right, so all I need to do on the side here now is go, great, I checked his work, so I'll go and check on the side there. And now when I hit return, he'll get all three of those documents. Um, I just need to grade it. Um, there.